You're awake. Senpai Thank goodness. Ah, oh, foe. Whatever. <laughs> I don't like that rodent. I don't know. It looks like the ratio didn't execute correctly. At the very least, I don't think this is our intended destination. No one seems to be injured, including foe, who has tagged along once again. Doctor, doctor? Hmm, probably get no response. Yeah, as you can see, we've lost all communication with Chaldea. That's why we don't even know where we are. I'm so happy Saber is finally involved in something. It may not be a main quest, but like, and I just mean like, good old normal Saber, not like Lancer Saber. But I'm so happy she's finally involved in story for once. Well, it's not written, just like the probably looking plants. Hmm, right now our problem is, not where this is, but what lives here. Master mm -hmm. behind you. Is it monsters? Probably monsters, right? Yep, this is not time for sarcasm. Watch out. Ooh, monsters. How scary. This is an unknown enemy type. A new enemy type? Ones that weren't introduced in Camelot? Ooh, nice uh, summer theme we got here. Okay, so hermit crabs. They are kind of new, huh? Oh, crap, I have a lamp. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. I think that's the... The song in the background, I think that's the theme for the normal, like... Oh my god, the game is slowing down. I had to delete the cache again, because the game would not update. Anyway, as I was saying, I think the music is the intro theme. Or at least, like, the intro slates. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. It's really nice. I like it. Unfortunately, I had to start this event a day late, so hopefully I can catch up in time. I'm, I'm planning on beating all of part one within the first two days or so. I started playing, I should say. It seems we're safe for now. Does anyone know anything about this place? Looks like the beach to me. Oh, it's Tomo. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no recollection of this place. I don't remember you ever coming with us. Neither you. Same here. To tell you the truth, I have no idea where this is. At the very least, we're not in Japan. I'm not sure either, <laughs> but I don't think it's France. Mar if you... <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about Martha's um, swimsuit version. Like, she get she becomes a ruler, right? Which is pretty crazy in its own right. But, like, she also uses her hands to beat the shit out of people. It's so weird because, like, she's the ruler, but she's got that... <laughs> her body exhibits ruler. She is one fit saint. I've seen many places, but this doesn't seem to be one of them. It's a nice beach, though. I agree. Definitely relaxing. I just can't pinpoint the location. Don't ask me. How the hell will I know? But anyway, more importantly, sideways glance. Um... Oh no. <laughs> As I said earlier, this does not appear to be Britain. Apologies for not being able to help anymore. And those two... This should be where us pirates show our worth. But it's rather difficult since there's no identifying trait that I can see. What do you make of it, Mary? Mm, I can't really say. I've seen countless speeches like this. I do feel a little uneasy because we can't get in touch with the Doctor or Caldea, but with this many servants around, I'm sure nothing can stop Blackbeard. I've been standing here forever and you didn't even notice me. You went in and broke or whoa. You went in and broke Oro? What what is that? What kind of <laughs> Whatever. Oh I get it. I get it. You went in and broke Oro my fragile coco though. What a freaking weeb. I'ma need someone to give me a hug. No thanks. But still, don't ignore me! Notice me! <laughs> Senpai, ah, it's another man. Aren't you being a little hasty, Mr. Beard? In situations like this, we must not outshine others. We may glow, but only discreetly. After all, there are too many attractive ladies gathered here. If we sparkle too much, all kinds of troublesome incidents might occur. Polygamy, swinging, and orgies to name a few. Ah, uh, sure. Don't you think, dear mud? I expect my liege. Wow, there... Everyone is here. Everyone. Should be a smash, uh, <laughs> a smash meme. Everyone is here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, even Karna? Seems the men are all gathered over there. There were more people when we departed, but it looks like we got separate. I hope they're safe. Oh, great, more monsters. That's totally what we need. So, I picked Karna. It, obviously, I didn't know which one I was picking, but gosh. Really? You gave me the short end of the straw? The game's being unbearably slow right now, though. Most likely because of that, uh, the update. Every time after update, this happens to me. I'm just hesitant of downloading the extra data to make it run a bit smoothly. Smoother. Because, <laughs> um, I'd rather not just use up all my space like that. This should probably work. 
Huh. Yeah, that's work. What were the bosses gonna be? Probably just a big crab. Yep, big crab. I'm just gonna use my double phantasm. It's really quiet here, senpai. Feels like it's just the two of us here. Eh, I don't know. I could care less about this kind of moment. And what a nice sky. All those stars shining so bright. I looked up at the sky in other ratio of destinations too, but... I think this is the first time seeing so many stars without other light sources getting in the way. Septum and Orleans would have have to have been pretty full of stars, don't you think? Of course, it's probably some uninhabited, well, it is an uninhabited island. This would probably have the least amount of light sources in the way, but still, I feel strange. Since I met you, Senpai, I experienced many things I never thought I would experience, and seen many things I never thought I would see. After all, until we met, Caldea was all I ever knew. Now, everything is new and colorful. What's going on here? What are we coming up to? I'm sorry, Senpai, I don't know what I'm saying. The stars are so beautiful and silent, I guess I spoke without thinking. I mean, I don't want to say that though. It feels disingenuous. Like you can't, you can't pull this as a friendship. It doesn't seem like it. Who talks to their friends like this? I, I guess it's a master-servant relationship, and it's a closer thing than a friendship. But even then, it just feels weird. It's, it's obvious we're supposed to have a romantic relationship with Mash, or at least it's implied pretty heavily. If I can't see it any other way, it's just I feel like it doesn't feel real at least in the bounds of the story i'm sorry i'm complaining a lot on a very festive event but it's just something that's always bugged me about this game like at this very moment however i feel very lucky to have seen this starry sky with you senpai it, it it's too i don't know it's too cheesy just to not come out and mash say she has romantic feelings for us or something like that it, it just make it that way or something because it's very hard to believe she just cares in a way that very close friends do. I can understand that to a certain aspect, but still, it, it, it feels like a romance to me. And when you look at all the other Fate series, romance options are pretty plentiful, so... I don't know. feel weird. Hmm, I kinda expect that Blackbeard to be back by now, too. My blood's pumping, I'm ready for some action. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Calm down. Look, if I try to kill time with you, the only thing getting killed will be me. Yeah, very true. Too bad you're not a berserker right now. I don't want to badmouth you, my mentor. But try to read the room a little, would ya? It ain't the land of the shadows where violence rules. So try to adapt just a little bit, okay? Why you? What a flippant disciple. Still, you have a point. Mm. Good, now that I shut her up, maybe I'll go fishing. It's been a while, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. Martha, you don't need to hold back. You can't hide the truth from these eyes. What are you talking about? We're by the sea, in the summer, in a place where everyone lets themselves go. I can tell. You're getting really worked up, aren't you? Is this how she becomes a ruler? No need to keep it all inside. What do you want to say? Shall we go at it right now? What the heck? Worked up. Go at it. Why you... That's enough sexual harassment. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> if anyone said that to you, you probably think the same, huh? Alas, that's not what I was getting at. What I desire is a combination technique from you and Tarasuke. Why? There are no other saints around. I thought you'd be able to show me the permitted technique if there's no one around to mock you. Was I mistaken? Oh, there you go again. Techniques in battle once more. What's that? Over there on the shore. As always, my leech has good eyes. It appears some seaweed washed ashore, or not. It's a dead body. I suppose we should give him proper rights and bury him. Yes, the beautiful girls, hell no to bury him. I'm still alive, I was Blackbeard. Let's ask him what he found, while well, we still can. Blackbeard, tell us what you know. Ah, uh, girl's voice penetrates my dizzy head. Aye, that's what reminds me. The reward. Where's my reward? After we hear your report, spill. You'll be squirming after that, Miss Mary. I bet your heart's already pounding with anxiety and anticipation. I can hardly wait myself, but report first, then fun. Based on my observation of this land from the sea, I don't have a single clue where we are. The alignment of the stars makes no sense. It doesn't help pinpoint our location at all. Any other information? Ah, cripes. My vision's getting blurry. All the blood's rushing elsewhere. The open ocean, high battering waves, even the tide is complicated and mysterious. Impossible for any ship to make a decent journey. And then, <clears throat> it's my favorite doujin. What's it doing here? I thought I lost it. Shiver me timbers. I like doujinshi too. I'm a good fan of Shindo Erdu. 
<laughs> is that too much information? Who knows who that is? Hey, don't voyage into the afterlife before you've told us everything. Reward. If only I have a reward, I can hang in there. I guess we don't have a choice. Oh, Blackbeard, I'm so impressed you've made it back here. Nice recon. You're the greatest pirate that's ever sailed. I'm so in awe. Yay. Y yay? Mary just reached out to a trembling Blackbeard, and he responded. <laughs> like a high five. There, you touched me. That's your one touch. I held my end of the bargain. Now keep talking. Come on, Blackbeard, you knew you would get shafted. Despair. I despair. I, the fearsome Blackbeard, will show you all the true meaning of despair. Now he's in serious mode, huh? I figured out after investigating this land from sea, the final conclusion. This is a desert island. Okay. Impossible to escape. A harem lifestyle is inevitable. Men will be mobbed by the ladies. And yet, and yet why? I'm the one who worked the hardest, yet I can't participate? That's like RNG luck. <laughs> yeah, call out the bullshit, Blackbeard. You tremble on my dearest wish. May my blood stain this world. May the holy G cup be cursed. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, crap, I, that was a bit surprising. Strange, I suddenly feel a deep affinity to him. Yeah, same here. How unfortunate, he didn't make it after all. Going by what he said, it doesn't sound like a normal ocean and a desert island. Communications I... with Caldea are down, and it's just us on a desert island in the middle of the who knows where. Just what are we supposed to do in a situation like this? Once I heard there was no one here, I think this island started to feel even hotter. I think foxes shine brightest when there's snow and cold. Don't you, master? My poor tail is soaked with sweat. You know what I'm talking about, right? The food we took with us is almost gone. Even if we just use it to keep master alive, who knows how much is left. I mean, why don't we just go fishing, though? Ku went fishing. I should have studied how to get by when you arrive on a deserted island with nothing. Yeah, I guess that's information most people probably wouldn't need, but it'd be good to know. That's right, no need to think too much about it, master. You have a plan? I don't know if you could call it a plan, but we have to do what we must. Eat each other? Our so first priority needs to be to try and contact Caldea, and then we can request help. Yes, that's right. But the problem is that we can't get through. I don't think the system's broken. It is possible that if we leave the island and go elsewhere, the system might come back online. But Blackbeard tried leaving and he ended up dying. That's a possibility. We lost connection once we arrived on this island, so if we leave, it might be restored. We mustn't forget- yeah, exactly, Blackbeard died. I mean, you guys are servants and there are so many trees around. Servants are like human deficiency, like times 100. Just build the boat. I think a good way to start maybe trying to find a way out of this place. Yeah, Blackbeard told us that an ordinary ship wouldn't be enough, which means that a good proper ship just might. But this island is uninhabited, right? Surely we wouldn't be able to procure such a ship, or we make it, obviously. We can make one. We may be able to steer a ship, but we don't know how to make one. Don't worry, I know a thing or two about it. Really now? By combining my runes, I can almost make anything. I need time and materials. As far as I can tell, this island should have what we need. It seems very bountiful. Alright, where are we? It's going to take time to build a ship. It's not something you can do in the afternoon. I want to try. Our goal needs to be to find a way to live on this island while we gather materials we need. Yes, I'm a little worried about that too. The climate and topography are completely different from that in Caldea. Who knows what kind of natural phenomenon we might encounter. Some of the knowledge I've acquired includes how to survive, even on an uninhabited island. It might be inconvenient at first, but as we make what we need, life will be easier. Now oh. then, I have a suggestion for everyone. Some suits? Probably some suits. Yep, some suits. God, they are bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> Not bad. What do you mean? I, I hate when it does this. Mash yours are pretty big too. Why swimsuits? Why? First, the island is hot. Even if you're wearing armor like Mordred, too much heat dulls the body, even if you're a servant, and heat affects you in combat too. Well, I mean, Mordred is wearing, like, pretty thinly veiled stuff under her armor. She could just took off the armor. Can't say the same for Altoria, but whatever. A Master Warrior must adjust their approach to match their location and condition. I've altered your spirit origin to accommodate our surroundings. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's nice and cool and easier to move around in. I can swing my sword around more than usual. Without my armor, I may be stronger than King Arthur. Hmm, I need to prepare appropriate weapons for this outfit. Sabre is nice because she got nice peach bottom. <laughs> what is that? She took out a weird gun. Like it was the most ordinary thing in the world. It looks really summery too. That's not fair. Oh right, I need to change my weapon too. I'll bring out this special eye of its saving. Yeah, it's gotta be this. The shield that becomes King Arthur's ship. 
I'm glad I swiped it. Come take a look at me. If you can't endure the heat, enjoy the heat. If the sun is strong, then use the sunlight. That's the way of a proper lady. What do you think, Master? I can use my parasol as a spear and become Lancer Tamamo-chan. I'm in the swimsuit on a tropical island with Master. We're not just stuck here. We're not just stranded on an empty island. For me and Master, this is, yes, this is our honeymoon. Like, Martha's got a rockin' body. Like, everyone else, I'm not gonna say everyone else. You know, there's a lot of exaggerated proportions in this game. But Martha has, like, the right proportions. It's a little embarrassing to show so much skin, but I can't help it. Given the situation, I must forget my role as a saint and deal with this trouble as plain old Martha. I've never done anything like this. It's a little exciting, isn't it? I like the seashells in her hair. I spent a lot of time in the water, but it's been a while since I've dressed up to swim. Master, do I look weird? It's very cute, and it looks great on you, Mary. I agree that a swimsuit is better suited for this environment, but my one concern is monsters? How could it be monsters? I understand. It's whether we can fight in these outfits or not. Of course you could. I would argue fighting naked would be more beneficial than fighting with clothes on. So wait, their classes can change just due to unfamiliar unfamiliarity with swimsuits or a new costume? That seems like a, I don't know, pretty weird thing. Oh, now the master, your show. orders. I should show you the power of summer. Yay, summer. Oh wow, no, the cold scenery's changed. Well, it looks like we'll be living off this island for a while. So what should we do first? I mean, it's a harem for a reason, right? No, no, there's no rush, master. Once you accept the situation, you'll feel more at ease. Just relax, we're on a tropical... Uh... Simba, it's a strong squall. It's so strong it hurts. Hey, there's a small cave on the cliff. Let's go in there for now. Hmm, so the rain is as cold even in the tropics. I learned something new. Something's coming from the back of the cave. Look at that dark, creeping shadow spreading across the ground. It's like a carpet, is that? Are those... bugs? <laughs> There's no way we can use that cave now. Absolutely no way. Did someone fire the noble phantasm in there? I do remember a great destructive force being unleashed behind me while we were running. For the sake of that person, I won't say who did it. I'm sure everyone had the same idea. By the way, it has stopped raining. At least we're fortunate in that regard. Perhaps it's the will of God. However, such unstable weather condition means that another squall can happen any time. Never mind us. Master may have to continue facing drastic temperature changes, which means we need to create a home base. Please wait, I'm afraid to bring this up, but you speak of a simple wooden dwelling. Isn't that just going to be like a stable? What are you trying to say? The wooden houses are for animals. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fox. She's a snake. So what? No, um, I did not mean to say anything rude. I apologize. I just want to point out that this is going to be Master's first base. Considering that this is going to be a new frontier for the pioneering of this island, a house made of wood seems a little austere. I believe we should use stones to build a sturdy living quarter. The stability of a stone main base is incomparable, and its defensive powers are very strong. Damn it, even if it's coincidence, our opinions match. Yep, defense is important. Hey, what about iron? Why don't we use iron to build it? It's strong, and it will be safe from an enemy. Good idea, right? So Lady Fusion Master, I recommend the stone base. Damn it, Fawz pretended not to hear me. Whoa, I can't believe you built it the way I wanted. Thanks, Master. This yes. is some amazing armor. It's really thick and tough. Uh, wanna go in? This sounds weird, this conversation. What the heck, it's freaking hot. Of course it is, it's iron. Is it habitable? Yeah, probably should have done something different. 
What do you mean habitable? All I care about is defense. I'm happy as long as it's solid. It is ridiculously hot inside though. Alright, it's too hot, so I'm gonna take another dip in the water. Master, be sure to use the house you created. Well, it's most likely a death trap, so I probably won't do that. No matter how- <laughs> What is this logic? No matter how many fire arrows come your way, you'll be safe as long as you're inside. I guarantee it. No, I'll just burn up. Then again, if you're inside for too long, you might get baked before you even see one. Simba, did you know the amount of water a human needs each day is 3 liters? Actually, since we're in the blazing tropical heat, you should drink more. Hydration is important. It's a life-threatening matter, so please be aware of it. I've discussed the matter with Kathash. Mm, mm. She has indeed. For now, we've decided to create a watering place somewhere. It'll be a place to preserve fresh water. My runes will help in the process too. A feast? Yes, a feast. They're so happy. Senpai, it was worth building it. Master, you may not think a faucet dispensing water is anything special, but for those of us that experience water shortages, this is nothing short of a miracle. I hope that human beings won't have to worry about water anymore. Yeah, you would think, huh? Hold it right there. I want to confirm something that you mentioned earlier. That faucet is not only dispense water, but even orange juice and udon dashi? I, I don't know about that. That's udon sauce, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the broth. I'm familiar with the splendor of udon. It has a simple but deep flavor. Soft, Hi. chewy noodles, and painstakingly prepared soup. It's the epitome of exquisite yet simple looking cuisine. Never mind the noodles, we're talking about this broth coming out of the faucet. Now, let me check. You can't do it unless you go to udon country. What? Master, you tricked me! The king can be so demanding. Just turning on the faucet yields fresh water. Isn't that enough? Indeed. Just turn the faucet on and watch it flow. Okay, future Blue Rides are here. And uh, I just want to say I lost the battle information. Uh, I should say video. Uh, I don't think it matters that much. Um, but it was just that the video got corrupted. So hopefully it doesn't happen a second time. But if you just notice there's any skips and stuff, it was probably because I lost um, the recording for it. Or it was corrupted. One of the two happened. Hi. We built a place to live and a place for water. I thought we were doing well, but this is the biggest mistake I've ever made. How could I not have noticed? We're almost out of food. Servers don't need to eat. If anything, food's like a mood stabilizer for us. However, it's not the case for Master. This is a big problem. How'd you guys get by so far? We've been eating rations we bought from Caldea, but we're about to run out as well. That just means we'll have to procure food ourselves. A lack of food is a serious issue. It doesn't just affect our master, but it lowers our morale as well. Now, I would assume if you were in need of food, then your master was in need of food, because obviously, if master's gone, it's a problem for you. It wouldn't lower your morale, you would want to fight harder. If your morale is lowered when you see your loved ones suffer, I think you need to either fight harder. It's not, oh no, they're suffering and now I'm sad that they're suffering. No, fight harder, for they don't have to suffer, right? <laughs> Am I wrong on that? So for now, we'll have to rely on ourselves. Let's see if we can find something to eat. Hmm, all the plants are so different from the ones at Bethany. I'm not sure which ones are safe to eat. But lads, it's best to remain calm in a situation like this. Nothing will go wrong if we stick to our instincts. Nah, I've got a bad feeling. Hmm? Master, why do you look like you have a bad feeling about this? There's no need to worry. I used to feed all kinds of weird things to my little brothers, and they were mostly fine. In fact, they prayed even harder after they ate. They even had tears in their eyes when they did. So don't worry, and don't disobey me. My gut feeling is pretty good at times, like this, you know? I can't say I found much. Just a few different kinds of fruits. Oh, well done. What are they? I've never seen these shapes and colors before. I don't trust your instincts. <laughs> you got a problem with my instincts? It's never been wrong. It's fine. They look like coconuts, but upon closer inspection, one has thorns, one is fluorescent pink, and one smells terrible. It's probably a durian. Have you guys had durian before? I've never had it, but like, I know what it's infamous for. At the very least, I don't think you'll die instantly from eating them. Just spit it out if your tongue feels numb, got that? Do the same if your stomach feels strange after you swallow. If you're having trouble regurgitating it, let me know. I'll use a special method to, uh, knock it right out of you. She's gonna gut punch me. She's gonna do a Saitama. As a saint, I can swear that to you, trust me. Okay, looks like you have no objection. Let's get started. I'll go get something to cut this. She chopped the top off with just her hand. <laughs> if that was animated, it would probably be really funny. Okay, you should be able to drink it now. No need to thank me. It's spicy, yep. It's a shame, let's try the pink one. Matthew! It's tasteless, completely tasteless. 
Normally at least one thing I find turns out to be edible. Made my intuitions growing dull. Well, on to the last one. Moses! Huh, why aren't you saying anything? I'm pretending not to notice the horrible sense that came after I opened it. This is edible, I guess. But this is fine, right? What's with the look on your face? I guess the best way to describe the taste is spicy salted squid. I like squid. Come on. It really doesn't taste like something that you'd expect from a fruit. I suppose you could eat it if you force yourself to, but that actually makes it all the more disgusting. But it is edible, right? That means more choice in the emergency. Good. I have to say, you both are pretty picky. I don't think Master's food shortage can be solved with mysterious fruits. Considering the taste and the fact that enemies attack every time we bite into one, at most we can use it as emergency rations. Oh no, I didn't know we were in that much trouble. I guess we don't even have any bread. Bre bread? I'm sorry, but I can't help you even if you keep staring at me like that. I wish I could be of some help. Huh? You guys are looking for some food? I'm just about to go freshwater fishing. The obvious answer. You're stuck on the island. Go fishing. Maybe it's not as maybe it's not as easy as I probably think it is, but it's definitely probably the best answer. It's better than going out and trying to hunt animals. But then again, if you're servants, it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking of like a normal person. But I have no experience. Besides, what about equipment? What, are you afraid you won't be able to reel anything in? Don't worry. Don't worry, the best thing about fishing is even the beginner can catch some. <laughs> As expected from a member of the Backspears boy. <laughs> I've never been fishing myself, but it sounds like so much fun. Freshwater style? What a refined taste. There's no way I could pass this up. It'll be like a summer vacation in Japan all over again. I was thinking of go finding some wild grass for Master, but you changed my mind. I'd like to come with you too. I don't understand what you were going to use this grass for. What I'm going to, well, should I have eaten it? This is a nice scenery. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, so this squirming thing is bait. Yep, recommended for beginners. Once you get enough experience, you can do without it. Is that true? Is anyone here a fisher? I've always seen my grandfather fish and he used bait. And he was experienced, like he has his bone boat and everything. So it's like, I don't know. Even if you were experienced, would you want to not use bait? Is there some sort of, what is that, demerit to it? I don't, I don't know. Fishing is a hit or miss business. Taking it easy is the right manner to enjoy it. Staying next to Master, looking up over the water together as time passes by us. For me, that alone is enough. I see, someone here gets it. I agree with you. I guess knowledge does come with age. I dare you to say that to Skidon. This is a very rude thing to say. Yeah. Oops, well, pardon me. Today, Tom was elegant and classic. This is my first time. It's okay to try without bait, right? Maybe I'll go ahead and just do that, because she hates bugs, right? Well, Master, let's sit back and enjoy ourselves. I can't catch any at all. Hmm, it's so frustrating. What, are you giving up? You're less patient than I thought you were. You haven't caught anything either. It's fine, because I'm enjoying the process. Besides, I'm not hungry yet, but servants don't get hungry. That was just explained in the beginning of this one. <laughs> what? You, you don't feel like eating, right? That's the case. It might be a problem with my rod. Maybe I should just get in the stream directly and try my luck at spear fishing like a true lancer would. I don't know if you're going to catch anything with that. Oh, you know what? She could just put the umbrella under the water and then like just, like, uh, what is that called? You know, pull it back in and catch fish that way. That's pretty genius, right? Also, it seems you haven't noticed yet, so I'm gonna tell you. The princess over there caught something. Princess? Here you go. I've just caught another one. Oh, look at you staring at me with those don't eat me eyes. Alright, alright. I'll let you go, so don't get caught ever again, okay? That's what she's been doing the whole time. Looks like fish are coming willingly. I don't think any fish have eat me eyes, Mary. Look at the bend of the rod. She's catching a big one. A big one. Let me give you a hand. We should help out too. It looks kind of fun. I feel like I'm being dragged in the river and I lose my concentration. Good, I see it now. One more should do it. Here we go. It's a whopper of a fish. It's a monster. How surprising. I guess I'll hang around for a little bit longer. Since inviting you all to that unsuccessful fishing trip, it's the least I can do. Well, thank you. Your help means a lot to us. You know, the normal way to procure food is hunting, so let's go hunting. I see, so that's why you asked us to tag along. This is being a walk in the park. Your Majesty, why are you here? It would be useless asking me that question. Hunting is a nice hobby, especially since I'm an archer now. I will not let any prey escape me. What shall we do? Should I have Mary chase the deer so I can shoot them when it jumps out? No, let me try this time. I would like to warm up since I haven't been hunting for a while. Now watch me. No, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> what? Don't you want me? What the hell are you doing? 
Well, when the game hides in the lee of a mountain or a dense forest, then completely eradicating the surroundings would be the one way to get at it, wouldn't it? Child of Light, am I breaking Celtic hunting etiquette in some way? This goes way beyond simple etiquette. No one bothers to bring it up to you. Don't be ridiculous. Are you saying this is an absurd thing to do? Anyway, we should ban use of noble phantasms. Let's just deal with that deer. As I expected, Altoria. Birds, rabbits, you caught a lot. Well, I, I did pretty good for my for a class I'm not used to. You did a good job too, Mash. I think this is just temporarily solve our problem with the food shortage. I'm not opposed to the idea of having a barbecue, considering all the extra meat we got. We were wondering where you went off to. You were hunting all alone. So much for us running around. She already knows we were short on food. She's so amazing. Oh Master, I cannot believe I did not know that you were starving. Shame on me. Next time you cannot bear your hunger any longer, would you please let me know? I'm prepared to give up this body any time for you. I recommended my tail first. No thanks. That's some uh, Kobayashi Dragon Maid stuff. So far we managed to obtain food on site. However, we are getting sick of simply barbecuing the food. A few of the crew are suggesting we build a proper cooking facility. I'm not a huge fan of barbecue myself either. We may be demi-servants and servants, but we cannot look the other way anymore. We are ladies. And more than anything, that should be what takes priority here. Uh, therefore, Senpai, please build a bathing facility. Oh, Alright, we're on it. So Tomo wants an open air bath. Yeah, I would agree pirates probably wouldn't care about bathing. Shower. And they want a Roman style. Wait, no. Just a regular one. Alright, fine enough. Now, uh, what... Unfortunately, there are no... There will be no event CGs, regardless of what you choose. Don't worry. I got that. I'll find a picture of someone bathing. Yeah. Easily all of you, probably. And I'll put it in. I've been doing event CGs on my own, because I'm ahead of you, fake grand order. Wow, this shower is amazing. I feel great. I'm off to ride the waves again. She came off to wash off the seawater, but she's going back in again. That's why Mordred is amazing. It's called an infinite loop. I've heard about it. <laughs> but what's great about the shower is how easy it is. I guess so. There's nothing you have to do to prepare. Why are we all in the shower room? Ah, uh, it's gonna be hard to find CG like that. That isn't not safe for work. It's fine, but things are touchy. That's fine. Isn't it? You can't actually wash yourself with rainwater, can you? Like, if you stand naked in the rain, that's not an adequate wash, because isn't there, like, dirt and stuff in rainwater? Is there? There's, like, debris, not debris, but stuff in it. <laughs> Weird, whatever. It's about time we set our sights on a stable food supply. Oh, we already had that. I'm talking about a field. Oh, that's what you mean. We should cultivate a vegetable garden. Most Master, choose what kind of plants will be planted. How about something normal, like daikon radishes? It's not normal to an American like me. You can boil them, stew them, even put them in miso soup. There's a plethora of recipes using daikon. I think we should grow cabbage. You have a point there. It can be used in just as many recipes as daikon. Plus, cabbage is a savory to sailors. Oh. Wait a second, I think you're forgetting something important. What's that? The fact that it's summer and we're on an island. Which means there's only one obvious watermelon. Yeah, I agree. I, I was going to pick Mordred regardless, but I like the idea of watermelon. Right. No left. Actually, maybe a little bit to the sideways or maybe above you. You think I'll fall for that? It's here. And they're watermelon smashing. I've never done that at all. I don't think it's an American tradition. Then again, I hate going to the beach. So that is the thing. I hate large bodies of water in general. <laughs> Wait a second. It's time for me to get serious. Don't think you've won yet. Oh, very well. Show me what you got. Wow, what an incredible intensity. Taking the wooden sword and approaching with slow and steady steps. Is she gonna miss? A bit more to the left. Quiet. Shut up, you're distracted. Oh, damn, that's kind of harsh. I've got it, it's here! Oh. Yeah! Alright, so we're trying to grow some staple foods. Hi. Yes, we've already run out of the meager amount of grains we brought from Caldea. A field of staple foods will give us a steady supply of ingredients to make various dishes in the cooking facility. Okay, Martha's wheat, Tomo's rice, and corn. I like corn a lot. What a marvelous cornfield. Thank you, Master. Looks like we're able to harvest a generous amount of corn, though. Yes, by the way, you mentioned something earlier, but how are corn and pirates connected? Right, Mash, Master, where do you think it's famous for its corn? I have no clue. The Andes? I wouldn't know. Yes, I feel like America would surpass other countries in the amount of corn produced, I guess. I don't know. Right, originally corn was almost only found in the Americas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at some point it spread to Europe. 
where we lived at a time. One man brought it back to Europe from America continent. Yes, the man's name was Christopher Columbus. Okay. It wasn't just corn either. Because of him, all kinds of things started to spread throughout Europe that were not formerly there. Things that people never knew existed. People from the opposite part of the world probably had no idea other things existed in other places. Yeah, that is pretty cool to think about, right? Now you can just kind of search it up. Think of how exciting it was to like see something brand new. It's just like, what is this thing? This is food from another place, like across a big body of water? That's really cool. Columbus's long voyage robbed both continents of their so-called common knowledge. In that sense, that would make Columbus the great forefather of pirates like us. Oh, yeah, I, I guess so. So we're going to show our respect to our great founder with this cornfield. I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. I don't want to celebrate Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be lucky enough to ponder some great treasure that will shock the world. Anything is fine with me. Ah, uh, this is no good, Senpai. Altaria has already resolved to accept everything with a bohiza whatever. That being said, this is our first farm. You must decide wisely what kind of livestock to raise. I, for one, recommend standard cattle for their meat and their milk. Yeah, I think cattle's the most smartest thing. Yes, eating meat gives you strength. Don't eat it and you won't get strength. It's simple logic. I agree with cows though. Why don't we go with chickens? I was thinking chickens also. We can eat them and use their feathers for this and that. By the way, speaking of making a farm, the idea isn't to actually create animals out of no, nothing, is it? Correct. We will need to find the first pair of animals somewhere. Then we'll have to make them and reproduce. I like how you can talk about mating with a straight face. It's just animals. You got a shitty look in your eyes, Master. But I'll let it go. At any rate, whichever it may be, the amount of wildlife we find on this island is likely to make our choice. Awesome, a barbecue party. Nothing beats eating meat after surfing. Does she just surf all day? What the hell is she doing with her time? Hey, is this one cooked? Wait, that's the meat I'm preparing. Well, There's actually 12 seconds left until it is cooked to perfection. Do not interfere. Wow, really? Uh, sorry about that. No, don't kill her. <laughs> I believe I told you not to interfere. No, I was just trying to get the pepper next to it. Oh, my apology. Eat as many peppers as you wish. Damn, it's so bitter. Unbelievable, using the gay book with her leg. Did she develop that, especially to throw it while barbecuing? <laughs> Another tasty piece of meat. I'm getting it this time. Oh, Poor Mordred. Aw, poor Mordred. <laughs> Foe's in a good mood too. Maybe Foe knows that we're going to harvest the crops. Foe is good civilization? Is this a meme? <laughs> Are you copying out Terra Senpai? It does seem like something she would say. It took us a while to make them, but now that we have some crops, our line of produce has become stable. Yes, however, there's a lot more work ahead of us. First of all, in farming, what's important is the nitrogen in the soil. What? This is... Our crops have been destroyed. Another bad civilization? Calm down, Master. I'll tear her down on this island. She should be. I wouldn't say it's completely destroyed, but more than half. What happened? There are monsters nearby. Is it them? Hmm. I cast the runes around the field so no bees could bring harm to it. It is indeed a mystery. Anyway, we need to rid the enemies before us. Let's investigate after we defeated them. I've got to be fouls open. 
but I did not find our cross. The true culprit lies elsewhere. If only we had some clues. Well then, let's search for some. Of course, I know the man for the job. That look, so it's already time to put my wisdoms into use. After analyzing everything, we're only left with one option. Dear Mud, we must stay up and watch over this crop field. What came before will come again. The culprit is a beast, but I do not know what kind or where it is right now. We have to see with our own eyes. That's the answer my wisdom has led me to. My wisdom can help me solve mysteries, but it can't unconditionally tell me something completely unknown. If that were the case, I would have already known about this island or how to get back to Caldea. Oh, that's true. For now, let's leave them for tonight and come back tomorrow and take a look at the crops, Master. The night is through. I wonder if the fields are alright. To be fair, we let Theon and Deermud, two people with extensive combat experience, watch over the field. They failed. As such, this isn't about bolstering defense. I think everyone wants to check on the field since they have a stake in it. We're almost there. Let's ask those two how it went. Huh. He's dead? They died? It's a mortal wound. There's nothing we can do. Looks like he's barely hanging in there. Hey! He's trying to say something. Oh, it's you. I made a grave mistake. If they got to me first, no amount of water would help. And he's gone. What about this one? Get a hold of yourself. Ugh. What's wrong? Who could have done this to a great warrior like yourself? B. B. A boar. What? We can grieve later. Did you hear the words he said with his dying words? If I'm not mistaken, I think he said boar. Yep, he did. <laughs> Over there. Is it the boar? Boar piglet. Don't tell me this thing killed them. A piglet or not, it's still a boar. There's no question about that. I think this goes without saying, but boars are typically harmful to crops. That's true, you often hear of farmers trying hard to drive them off their land. Just because something small doesn't make it weak. You don't know until you try. Let's kill it, hurry up, let's kill it. Nope, there we go, fine, monsters. We have a look for it, huh? This is a pretty big island. If we lost sight of it during the battle, then who knows how far it's gone. Hmm? What's that in the bushes? Oink. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're surprisingly soft. Alright, feels great to ignore the king's order. Maybe I'll head to the beach and ride some waves. Oh yeah, I got some nuts from Mary to help lure out the target. But I don't need them after all. I guess I'll get rid of them here. Don't come to the field again, get that? Well, I'm just talking to myself. Yes. See ya. I see, I see. So that's what happened while I was relaxing on the beach. As well, it means I have no choice but to help you watch the field. She's gonna die next. Are they all gonna die? I don't know a lot about how things work on land, but can we just harvest the rest of the crops? We might be able to do that for now, but if our next patch of crops also get eaten, we'll be in trouble. We either need to eliminate the root of the cause completely or come up with a solid defense. Although I do question your story about how those two got defeated by boars. Exactly, I still don't believe those little ones are the culprit. I'm here to prove that. I'll tell you again, you shouldn't underestimate boars. I remember there was once a terrifying boar in Britain. In other words, it's hunting time. Let's get rid of this pest. There it is. I'm kind of done with this boar side story. It's obvious it's just a baby boar. Why don't we just get black water? There's more than one? I smell blood in the water. Wait, something seems strange. They're all lining up on top of each other as if they're protecting our field. Wait, something else is here. Oh! Is that? Yeah, a big boar. Of course. 
Why did we get black borders? It's kind of weird. Well, well, it's a demon boar. A regular boar with a demon inside. A demon boar. From the looks of it, it has enough power to be a match for a servant. If they were caught off guard, even the two knights of Fiona could be defeated. Indeed, demon boards are trials for heroes. Heroes who aren't strong enough are killed without mercy. I used to send my own students against them all the time. They're very eco-friendly enemies, because you can eat them once they're dead. Look at those scraps of food around his mouth. Those are from our field, right? It looks like he wants to eat us too. Bring it on, if he wants to fight, I'll smash into the freaking sky. I, I mean, yeah. Be gone. If you will not, I will show you the new meaning of Bible thumping. Sounds dirty, Martha. Quite powerful, however. Wait, is that Argo? Did did I it just did I just imagine that? I think we should be focusing on infrastructure maintenance. Is that what it was? We've all gotten used to procuring materials, so I believe if we improve the route to carry them out, our efficiency to increase. Oh dear. We should have realized it sooner. The most dangerous thing about carts is Yes, carts. They're too much fun. Yes, Senpai, thanks to that, writers are running wild. Humans made their lives easier with adventures in the street. What will come next? I shall ask you, Master, on behalf of humankind. Answer my question. More convenience. Exactly. They say that it's pitiable. Well, some say humans continually test themselves for an easier life. It's tough to judge. So, the next course is a water course. If we build a water wheel, a stone channel, a pipeline. Of course a pipeline. See, this is why I chose uh, Mordred. Gently, gently, that's it. Right there. Idiot, don't be so rough. I told you, the moment you put it in is the most crucial. What? Ah, that's it. That's nice. It's in. Oh, yes, that's good. Master, you got some pretty good skills. Now, let's move on to... Ahem, where are you? Huh? Fancy seeing you here. I was just looking for foe. I wasn't trying to interrupt whatever you might be doing. You came in a good time. Look at this pipeline. Yeah, uh, I was just plugging more of pipes. Come on now. See, Master, you're getting all freaking weird about it. This is what I was talking about earlier. Why not just... I, I know, maybe she says it later, but why not just come out and say her feelings towards the master? I would love, I don't want the end of the story for it to be like that, but I understand that it is the Fate series and you're surrounded by all these girls, this power, em, empowerment, power fantasy, like there's these women around you. Mash isn't obviously going to be like the number one waifu, but still, story-wise, I think it makes a lot of sense. It's a fun gag, sure, I guess. Here we are at, let's make our lives easier, part 3. As such, let's build a bridge master. We servers can leap over rivers and ravines in a single huge bound. So this idea was convinced with you in mind. Why can't I just grab a server and one and jump? All the thing needs to do is let us cross the river and such. 
which I'm suggesting a ropeway. That sounds actually kind of stupid. Wow, my best time yet. Of course, record. I didn't want to build a ropeway. I kind of thought it was silly. I wonder what kind of trick it is. I guess it's better to focus more on going down instead of up. I cannot believe it. Although I do recall saying something similar before. We should have realized it soon. The most dangerous thing about cable cars is... Yes, cable cars are fun to ride. Alright, I like the gag. Thanks to that the riders are running wild again. Now that we have settled in quite nicely, some of us are thinking about creating a garden. I don't know, it doesn't seem very important. I wish we had a little bit more space to play. Space to play. Yes, I know that everyone goes for a dip in the sea when they're not too busy collecting resources, but even that's getting boring. It'd be nice to have somewhere to stretch our legs and have some fun. We have a beach, we can just do it there. A place where we can have fun while exercising, I get it. I'm positive what you want is a coliseum. Absurd words, you have a straight face. Why, to us warriors, fighting a tough enemy is the best form of entertainment, right Martha? What, is, is that so? I'm sorry, I don't really understand that feeling. Not very convincing when you're polishing your gauntlets. As for me, I believe I, we should build Maryland. Uh, what exactly is that? Maryland is Maryland. It was so much fun. Something strange has been happening. Would you listen to me, Master? It seems the men are acting a bit strange. See over there? Well, I mean, all the other ones have died so far. They'll die too, I assume. What are you doing? Do you see that? Those two whispering over there. Not just those two. The other men tend to disappear a lot too. Other men, there's like... Kojo is the only one, right? Everyone else is dead. I didn't notice anything at all. I was looking at my master the whole time. In that case, what should we do, master? I mean, let's just ask them. They're moving deeper and deeper into the island. It looks like they're trying not to get noticed. And that can only mean they're doing something suspicious. Somehow I lost sight of them. It's not like we can't track them anymore, but there's one problem. Even if there are no traps, it looks like there's a gatekeeper. You there. Is that right? Oh, is it Kojiro? Come out whoever you are. I know you're there. I see you very impressive. Allow me to show myself. Oh my god. I think I know how to say this in Japanese. Welcome to my wa. I'll do Island Mask. Island Musk. My name is Island Mask. I have no relationship with that refined swordsman or renowned gatekeeper. Mmm, okay, look. You can call yourself whatever you want. I don't care. But that get up is basically a sign that I can punch you in the face until your mask breaks, right? I'd rather you not punch me with those gauntlets of yours. So it's come to this. I suppose you are a holy maiden who educates others with an iron fist. Well, be it as it may, a gatekeeper must perform his duty. I'm 
Boss, why are you getting all salty with me too? Oh, Tasuke. I didn't know Tasuke could talk. Sorry, Tasuke. I lost my cool and kind of went with. It. Well, well, I've lost. I've lost completely to you. Satisfied? Now I'll ask you again. What were you trying to do? As a victor. I mean, as the one preaching God's word on the emptiness of conflict. I think I have the right to ask. I wanted to play too. Huh? Come again? It's summer. We're on a deserted island as someone who appreciates elegance, of course. I wanted to enjoy this occasion. I was thinking it should be okay for me to go wild for a bit. But unlike you, my friends, I was not given the privilege to go wild in a swimsuit. You, you never will do. Why, you ask? Because I'm a mere one-star servant. I feel like I served something I just should it. <laughs> Therefore, I was left with no other choice but to transform and add excitement to the occasion. That was the purpose of the mask, you know? You would know nothing about it, my master. About the zealous union of us common heroic spirits. The one-star alliance. The mask was handed to me by Lord Amadeus. He told me to use it if something comes up. Lady Martha's fist shattered it, but it was a symbol of our determination. I see. I'm so glad it wasn't Spartacus's mask. Fine, I do understand that you wanted to vent out your frustration and regret. However, let me ask you one more time. Why did you get in our way? The men who went ahead weren't common rarity, right? In that case, you didn't have an obligation to help them, now did you? Hmm, I asked them to hire me since I thought it'd be a nice chance for the island mask to play a part. But I think it would be easy for me to show you what I mean rather than tell you. The defeated gatekeeper has no choice. I will show you the way. Huh? Hey, bodyguard, what are you doing? Why the hell would you bring them here? I apologize, I was having too much fun fighting and lost. But it was only a matter of time until they found out about this place. This is... This place? Cropfield? That's right, master. On a smaller scale, but it looks just like our village. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. This is a village we created just for the men. They got buildings, and even a crop field. Although the direction went a slightly bit different than ours. This place is more organized than I thought. Some structures are even built better than ours. Do I feel like we've lost that game? Why would you hide this place? It had to be hidden. You see, boys like to do their little secret bases, right? Although the place you guys got there is a lot more convenient than here. In order to honor the noble lancers who built this place, we call it Backspear Village. I am just a farmer with a hoe, and a support member if you will. So you spend your boy band name. It's a funny joke you got there. Hey, would, would that joke you've been making in Japan? That has to be like a translation difference. I think we should upgrade our house, like big. I do agree, our stronghold shouldn't stay the same when the island has been through so much expansion. Naturally, I suggest building a Japanese style samurai residence with a big garden storehouse. A big house, you say, and then that can only mean a castle. As a good wife and fox maiden that all of Japan is proud of, I recommend a mansion. But as a summer socialite, a castle sounds nice too. You remember when we were building our first house? My opinion still hasn't changed. That means we have to have a big fortress. It's gonna burn us again. And maybe we can make it a flying one too. Awesome, now that's what I call a perfect fortress. Iron plating, spike fences, a watchtower, certainly seems to have impressive security. As a designer, if I say so myself, I never dreamed it could be built so exactly the way I imagined it. Too bad we couldn't get it to fly though. But you know, let me ask you something. Do you know why I'm so hung up on strong defenses? It's because I've got to protect you all, at all costs. This eye is pretty developed now. But we can't let our guard down. This place is huge. There may be enemies here that we don't know about yet. And in war, if you lose your leader, you're more or less done for. You can't even recover from that. That's why, see, how do I put this? Unlike me, you're kind of a weakling. And if you get killed, it will be all over for us. Y yes, yes indeed. I agree, Mordred. Keeping Master alive should be top priority. Well, either way, you don't have to worry about enemies with invincible me here. But whatever. We got a lot of materials. If we keep it up, we'll be able to build a statue soon. What does that matter? Hmm, I still don't see the point, but to be honest, however, we already made the decision as a whole. We've entered the final phase of preparations for construction our escape ship. A statue is the beacon of hope. It'll keep our morale up. I think it's important we build one. Could it be like a figurehead placed on the front of ships to pray for a safe sailing? That's right. Giving form of a determination will make it easier to rally everyone together. But most of all, it gives us something to offer our prayers to. Hmm, prayers and beliefs. There's where I come in. I'm pretty sure it's obvious what kind of statue we want to build, right? Well, Master will have to find a decision. It's too embarrassing to see my own statue, so no thanks. Although, if Master were to secretly carve a small wooden bust of me and sleep with it every night, just thinking about it makes me excited. Oh gosh. That statue will serve the same purpose as a war god statue, right? In that case, shouldn't we base it on the most powerful one here? I ain't gonna tell you who, though. 
Please take your time and choose carefully, Master. Now let's start the preparations. Huh? That's probably a giant demon boar. Um, yeah, demon boar. Whoa, he's pretty big. Oink. The boar piglets are panicking. Well, whatever. Let's get him. It went into the ocean and fled as fast as it could. It sure is a stubborn creature, as resistant as its hide. However, we have hurt it pretty badly. It won't meddle with us for a while. Let's hurry up and finish that ship then. Luckily, it seems like the construction is almost complete. I don't really say stuff like this often, so be grateful. Just this once, I'm going out of my way to say this. I really did it, Master. I take my hat off to you. This is proof you completed the development of this island, the final monument, a statue of me. Man, this is so freaking cool. cool. It's really got a regal look to it, right? It leaves you speechless, huh? That's okay. I can tell how you feel just from your eyes, Master. A lot's happened since we reached this island, but I feel a sense of accomplishment when I look up at this thing. Alright, Master, both me and this big version of me are watching you. So let's use this momentum to finish building master. our escape ship. Oh my god, it's so nice. Okay, now we can finally look at our island. Look at that. I like this. It's like a tycoon game. I wish you could like click on them and choose a different path, but uh, whatever. It's an overall good result. Hmm, that should do it. We we finished. We finally finished the escape ship master. It was a pretty long, hard journey. I have no other way to describe it. I think it's a good ship. Although we don't know how she hands on the sea until we take her out. Don't worry about who will take the helm either. You can leave that to us. This time I'm going on a cruise with Master. Romance on the high seas. But that big demonic boar is still on this island, right? If we leave these little ones here. I mean, generally I don't care about them. I think in this whole video, I probably skipped past that stuff. It's just so uninteresting to me. That's right, that possibility does exist. I would have liked to rid them of that problem, but well, hmm, when you look at that, the solution came to us. All right, let's take them out. They're so strong. I'm amazed at his stubbornness. I expect to be strong, but I think we would have such a scrabble stamina. I thought I was used to exterminating monsters. Can I be getting weaker? It's Not quite a tough it. enemy. Its present here must mean that yes, this, that glance. What's it looking at? No, the escape ship. <laughs> it's charging. Damn it, this is bad. That charge will destroy the ship on impact. We won't make it in time. The board pillars are forming a wall. Oh yeah, they did that earlier, didn't they? The ship is safe. Why is the board got question marks? Who is this boar? Because he was saying Arthur earlier. They made another barricade. Oh no, over and over again. Look how many of the poor pigs are being knocked out cold. Not dead? The story's being pretty nice to these stupid pigs. Still, thanks to them, at least we made it in time. You both eat to survive, then eventually you'll die. You're both the same animal. So why do they get the island, not you? You're thinking how unfair it is, right? I know how you feel, but I can tell you exactly why. Because they're weak, they're short-lived. Because they surely can't oppose your strength. We are strong, we have power to protect them, so that's what we will do. Our purpose is to protect the weak. Yes, in a word, I suppose that's just my selfishness. The weak die out and those in power control the land. It's like that everywhere. But you know what? I'm Mary Antoinette. I'm the most selfish girl in the world.
We did it. We stopped this movement and it's sinking into the bottom of the ocean. Contact successful. Nice work, Master. I guess even the big boy like that isn't enough to kill me. Not like death by boar is a common occurrence anyway. Yes, that's right. Everything will be fine now. That big bully is gone. At first I was thinking to myself, how inconvenient. What kind of island is this? Now it actually feels nostalgic. Who knew I'd be this emotional? Yes, it's amazing. I guess that's because of all the effort we put to make this place easy for us to live in. Mary, it's time to say goodbye. I understand. It's quite regrettable, but... Who cares about these pigs? Don't cry like that. Please be happy. From your perspective, we may have very well ruined this island with all the things we built. However, feel free to enjoy the food that we have left in the field. If you feel like it, you can even do something new with it. Goodbye. Farewell was fun. Yes, I pray this island becomes a tropical paradise for those little ones. However, it still seems we still have a problem. The ship has been rocking really hard. Is it really going to be okay? This was the best ship I could build with the allotted time. It was properly protected by runes as well. No need to worry. Perhaps you're questioning our skills at the wheel. Just so you know, the ship's running fine. We haven't really decided what course to take. No oh. worries, I'm sure we will reach somewhere if we just sail straight ahead. You just say whatever you want, don't you? Is that compass even working? Lying is not good, you know. At any rate, we have plenty of food stored up. Since nothing is more important than food, I made sure of that personally. I don't mind where we end up, just as long as it allows us to contact Caldea. You're right, let me try now. It wouldn't surprise me if we could already. Man, this is going to be a long voyage. Well, we had a relaxing island vacation, so why not an elegant ocean vacation next? I already had enough fun on the island in my own way. Perhaps I will stay quietly in my cabin and play Hanafuda, the Japanese card game? Hmm, for some reason I remember playing it. Yeah, that'll help us kill some time. I think it was in Carnival Phantasm that he played it. The parrot, uh, I guess, comedy anime. Senpai, is there anything you want to do out in the open waters? I want to get out of the waters so bad. We already pretended to be pirates earlier. Hey, I'll teach you everything about being a pirate personally. Very personal. Day and night. Okay, so that's it. Um, this video is probably coming out a bit late after the event. Uh, it took me a long time. I'm not sure how long. Probably I'll put it up here in the in the video. But and obviously even longer to edit it. This was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm saying right now this is an editing nightmare only because I know how long it's, I've been doing this. I marathoned it all in one night just because I wanted to make sure I just had it all done. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I, it was pretty um, fun, to say the least. Not too many problems. It wasn't very difficult either. But of course, we have part two. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to relax and uh, grind out just a little bit more. Hopefully, part two comes around because that's the that's the summon band I really want to summon on. Yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the channel. We have hundreds of videos for you to enjoy. If you like this type of story video, I have plenty more you can watch. We, I've done one for Suzanne. I've done one for the Edmund Dantes as well. Plenty for you to see. Just check out the playlist. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.